Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me in part number five of the five-part mini-series called Eisenhower's Gift. My name is Michael Bridgman, and I have been your host for these five-part mini-series, and it's been my absolute pleasure and honor to be with you over the course of this, uh, this short period of time. The Eisenhower Gift mini-series has been all about how to help you become more productive, how, you, how to help you get the same things done with less time and effort so you can have more freedom, flexibility, and choice in your life. That's what this entire series has been about. And we have gone through four parts already, four incredible parts. So if you're here and you're starting here at part number five, the final piece to this series, I would encourage you, go back, start with part number one, pick up the five different myths of productivity that we debunk throughout parts one, two, and three. And then in part number four, we dive into Eisenhower's gift itself, catch name for the series, which is the Eisenhower Productivity Matrix and how to put it to use on an everyday basis in your life. These are the things that have helped me go from a trapped, struggling business owner to a freed, flexible entrepreneur who now owns multiple brands, multiple companies. And I, frankly, I live a life that's incredible and I'm super excited about the journey that I'm on. And I'm very thrilled to be able to be here with you today in the final part of our series, helping you to figure out what's next. So my friends, we are going to be tackling an incredible topic today, which is what comes after this? What comes after you do this work? What is it that comes up next? Because a lot of people, they get a little bit stuck. They, they pick up some tools. They, they pick up some ideas. We've debunked some myths for them. So they've got some traction, but they're going, yeah, but... How do I put all this into place? Well, one of the major problems that a lot of people run into is that they start to seek advice from a big variety of places. And that's exactly what, what happened to me. And it was it's funny because I uh, I wound up I wound up buying a lot of courses, <laughs> to put it mildly. I went all in on a bunch of gurus bunch of gurus as it were. And you know what? I'll never regret it. I acquired so much knowledge. It was incredible. And I've, I've loved the journey through all the different things that I've purchased. But there was something that popped up that was rhythmically happening over and over again to me. So, so tell me if this relates to you. I would be getting some progress and getting some traction and I'd run into a challenge on something. It could be two weeks into a course or two weeks into a project, three weeks, four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, whatever it was. I would run into a challenge. And one of my instincts was to go and seek some wisdom and seek some advice. So I would possibly go buy another course. I would possibly go talk to a mentor. I would possibly go do the, and those are valuable things to do. Really important things to do. I would never discourage anybody from not doing those things. But what I wound up realizing was that all of these people, they have a specific perspective on how to maximize what it is that I want to get accomplished. You know, if I'm talking to, you know, some of the greats that are out there, they have a specific method of operation. They've got their own way of doing things that doesn't necessarily the same as mine. It's not necessarily synonymous with the way I like to operate. And so what wound up happening was I started to build this real Frankenstein monster of daily habits, this Frankenstein monster of perspective, this Frankenstein monster of how I personally operated my businesses and my companies. And in some way that was fine, but when it came down to it, I kept trying on all these other people's hats, all these other people's clothing, as far as the, what, like what they do and how they operate. And I realized that I wasn't like them. You know, I wasn't necessarily the guy who really wanted to get up at 5 a.m. Now, it turns out I am that guy. I love getting up at 5 a.m. Like Robbie Sharma, the great Canadian author and self-development coach who talks about the 5 a.m. club. I love that book. That really worked for me. But an associate in, you know, time, media, and consulting, my business with me, doesn't work for him, right? He's a get up at 9 a.m. I really get rock and rolling by 11 a.m., but I work till midnight or 1 a.m. kind of person. Right. And so his, the 5 a.m. thing didn't work for him. 
And so what I'm getting at is that there's all these different methods, isn't there? There's all these different ways of doing things, different ways of being productive, different ways of designing this, different ways of doing that. And I thought to myself, okay, it's if I'm not doing it this guy's way or I'm not doing it this girl's way, how do I do it? How do I, can, can these different pieces work? And I wound up putting together over trial and error, my own productivity recipe, my own productivity daily method, how it was that I could be, get more done with less efforts, get on task, stay focused, have my goals. I, I developed my own way of doing this, but I'm not going to give it to you. Okay. I'm not going to give you mine because it's mine and it works for me. It's unlikely to work for you the same way it works for me. And so that's not the next step because the fact is, is all these gurus have their way and they believe that their way is the best way. And that's what they're going to teach you. But the truth is, what about your way? What about the way you like to do things? What about your method? What about the things that you do well that can help you be productive. Where does that come into play? Where does that come from? And I realized that there's there's something here. What if, what if we what if we just sort of stacked all these different concepts and ideas in one place? What if we put all of these productivity shortcuts, these hacks, these tools, these tips, these concepts and ideas? What if we made an almanac, as it were. What if we put all of these spots into all these things, I should say, into one spot and then said, you know what? Try them all on. Try half the month. Try a 10 of the month. Try a bunch of the month. See what fits. See what works for you. See if this combination with these two works for you and that turns out to be your personal productivity recipe. See, because I think you're unique, aren't you? You have your own traits and your own feelings of things and your own history and your own inner workings and the times of day that you're best aren't the times of the day where I'm best, perhaps. And so I put together all of these things. And I said to my own clients, I said, let's build out your productivity recipe. Let's figure out what it is that's going to work best for you because it's not up to me to delegate and to design a productivity routine that suits you. It's really about you going, mm, I love this. This feels great. This is a bit of a challenge, but I love the results from it. This is icky. That's a no go. They might all be things that I love, but that might not necessarily be the case with you. So what I did was I put together a compilation. I put together a whole big book full of the 77 best productivity shortcuts I could get my hands on. Some are unique to me. Some are my own coming up with. Many of them I absorbed and soaked up from a lot of the greatest minds on the planet. And I've assembled them all into one specific place. And I'd like to share with you. Let me jump over here to my screen. Uh, bum, 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 bum. This is it, my friends. It's called 77 Productivity Shortcuts for Busy Entrepreneurs. This is one of the most sought after books uh, that I have in my entire network. And I've, I've written a couple books down, but this is the most popular one. And for you, my friends, this is your next step. You've done the Eisenhower Matrix now. So you're able to Delegate, eliminate, automate. You know what are urgent and important versus urgent and unimportant matters. You know what are the things that are in quadrant number two that are going to move the needle for you. So now you've got the space. Now that you have the time and the area in your life to make those big strides forward, this is the next step is to reach out and pick up 77 Productivity Shortcuts for Busy Entrepreneurs. This book is the thing that can really change things for you because it'll help guide you through a whole bunch of different tips and tools. The Eisenhower matrix is just one. There is 76 more. 
packed into this book. If you thought this training was great, then I tell you, you're going to absolutely love 77 Productivity Shortcuts. This is the book that can be the golden key to unlocking your absolute most productive and best self. So in the description of this video, you can find the link where you can pick it up. And here's the thing. It is going to go on sale on Amazon for about 25 bucks. It's going to go on sale on Amazon for about $25 in the next month or so, right? If it's not already, in fact, depending on when you watch this. I'm going to offer it to you right now for only $7.77. $7.77. For the 77 Productivity Shortcuts for Busy Entrepreneurs. This is an amazing deal. You can download all this wisdom. You can put it directly into your email, email inbox within seconds. You can download all this wisdom. I've put a bunch of time and effort into this book directly for you so you can start absorbing up 76 more incredible productivity shortcuts so that you never get stuck. You never stay it trapped in that, that over busy, overworked, overwhelmed state, you always have a really fascinating secret way of getting unlocked from those spots because something that works for you for the next six months, maybe it starts to feel stale. Well, now you've got 77 shortcuts that you can start implementing to see if one of those starts to get you ahead in the game again. This is an incredibly powerful book, my friends. And pop on over, click, click on that link. It's just below right now. Uh, you'll see it in the description box of this, of this video. Pop on over. You'll see what people have to say about the book, right? They're absolutely in love with 77 Productivity Shortcuts. So if you want to take it to the next level, if you're ready to go from where you are to where you'd love to be, but you don't want to have to sacrifice every waking moment to get there, then productivity is the key, key to making sure that you get to where you'd love to go with less effort and less time. So pick up 77 Productivity Shortcuts because it's going to give you all these magical ways of becoming more productive each and every single day. As I said, if you thought the Eisenhower Matrix was awesome, you're going to absolutely love this book. So that, my friends, is the next step. Other than that, I hope you got tremendous value out of this quick series, this five-part mini-series, all called Eisenhower's Gift, all about making sure that you reach your utmost by being most productive you possibly can and using less effort and time to accomplish what you want. Thank you so much for watching. Pick up the 77 Productivity Shortcuts. I know you're going to love it. So thanks so much for watching, my friends. My name is Michael Bridgman. I am, and it's been an honor and a privilege to serve you here through this five-part series. And remember, always, always, always have fun, be more, and love lots. Thank you so much for watching this, my friends, and have a wonderful day. Pick up 77 Productivity Shortcuts. You will not regret it. I promise it can be in your inbox within seconds. You can be putting it to work within minutes. Thanks again for watching. And until next time, ciao for now.